Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you beloved motivators, and welcome to your Motivated Daily. Today's Motivated Daily is Problems Never Stop. Isn't it true that it seems like if it's not one thing, it's another? So how do we deal with that? How do we develop a mindset and a focus in not going crazy, not losing our mind? It's very easy to do that. It's very easy to be frustrated. I can understand the reason why some people feel like throwing in the towel because we feel the weight and the stress and the problems are just so much to deal with. It's very important to have some life skills in order to manage when problems come at us, how do we deal with it? But number one, just focus on what you can control and not what you can't. Um, knowing that certain things may not even be your problem. We sometimes get ourselves involved in situations and things that have nothing to do with you. It's not your problem. We take on the problems of maybe your spouse, significant other, your children, uh, the job. We tr we're trying to control it. We're trying to micromanage other people and their problems and make it ours. So one of the ways in order to assist us in dealing with our life is realizing what is my problem and what is theirs. And then we have to give people back their problems. Next, um, in helping us to find a solution to uh, coping with problems when they face us is have realistic expectations. Um, when things happen, we don't have to always just take it, oh, why is me and throw our hands up and why are things always happening to me? Things happen to everybody. So we have to have a balanced view of life. Everyone has issues. Everyone has problems, but all that matters at the end of the day is that we're doing our personal best. The issue most of the time is when we know we're not, when we know we're not taking care of ourselves, when we know we're not supporting ourselves, when we know that we are not doing what we need to do. So do your best. You know, sometimes we need to step up our game, believe in ourselves, work on our own self, our own mental health, our own finances, our own elevation, and start worrying about ourselves instead of trying to assist everybody but ourselves. Another one is making sure that we have some me time. You know, when those problems come, which they're always going to be coming, make sure you have a balance um, for your entertainment, you know, to go out there and enjoy life. It's so much beauty out there if you're only willing to look for it. That's something that I had to train my mind to, to see that. There's always going to be issues and there's always going to be problems, but don't allow your mind to be overwhelmed of everything that's going on and everything that other people are doing or saying. It's about my life. What can I do and how can I be in a position to enjoy it? So it may mean maybe taking a few days off from work from time to time. If you have those PTO hours, if you have some vacation time, if you can take even one day and get away and relax, put your feet up or do your favorite activity or hobby. But it's very important for us to not just be driven only to work and not, and not be able to enjoy the fruits of our labor. Balance is the key. And another thing that will help us when problems exist is making sure we have some support that we can vent 
to whoever it is, you know, talking to a mentor, talking to an accountability partner, a trusted friend, not just anybody who's a friend, but somebody who has a reputation of they can, you can tell them something and you're not going to hear it back from every Tom, Dick, and Harry. You're not going to hear it all over the world broadcast on the news. Um, as soon as you open your mouth. So make sure you have trusted uh, sources of support when it comes to you being able to get off th the things that is in your head, the things that you're going through in your heart. Remember, we're human. We go through things. Don't feel that you have to hold everything in. And I feel honestly that sometimes the, the men, I, I'm speaking to my male audience, my male motivators, that many times a society and other people do not allow you to pull, pull down your, your guard, let down your guard and to just be and just be sad if you want to be sad. Cry if you want to cry. Be upset if you want to be upset. It does not make you weak. It means that you believe in yourself and it means that you know your boundaries. You know how much you can take before you have a breakdown. And I'm so proud of every single one of you motivated male um, loved ones that you have enough courage to say, I need some support. I need some assistance. I'm really going to try to take better care of me. And um the next point is just that, you know, making sure you put in some time into your self-care. Uh, self-care is so vital. It's so vital that we show love to ourselves. Many times we will be willing to give so much to others, but not be willing to give anything to ourselves. So give yourself that permission to put your feet up to get some rest, to take a vacation, to put in some personal care for your overall wellness. Make sure you're drinking your water. You're eating a healthy and balanced diet, whatever has been advised from your doctor. For me, that's um, upping my intake of fruits and vegetables, drinking more water, staying away from um, salt and white foods and processed foods in general but that's just Marlene's personal opinion. I just want you all to be your best and to be our best, we have to enjoy some relaxation time. You know, just doing something as simple as watching the sunrise, enjoying time with your pet, your loved ones, getting out there and enjoying life, putting yourself out there and opening your heart to either the potential of love or nurturing and encouraging your romantic relationship and making sure that it's a healthy one. Remember, we have to put in work into all relationships. We can't just sit back and think, well, we've been together for a long time. It's all good when it's definitely more than that. So in, be encouraged, motivators. I want you all to know that even though problems will never stop, they will always continue on. Make sure you're being supported. Make sure you have people who are encouraging you. Make sure you're allowing yourself to let your hair down, laugh, have some fun, get away, have some fun for yourself. And when problems face us, take a deep breath, calm down. Sometimes it's best to just walk away and not get so worked up for the problems because it's life. And we have to tell ourselves, I'm doing my best. I'm Marlene of Marlene Motivates, and you have tuned into your Motivated Daily. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, and you know what we say over here. Just know it, just breathe it and be it and live your best life. I will see you all tomorrow. Be encouraged.
be inspired. Be yourself, you will survive. Just know it, just breathe it, and be it. And live your best life.